President Rodrigo Duterte is pushing for the impeachment of Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales after her agency said it was probing the Duterte family's wealth. Duterte earlier threatened to investigate the office of the Ombudsman after the agency said bank transactions of the president and his family through the years totaled more than 1 billion pesos. The president says he tends to believe that she was part of the conspiracy to probe his supposed unexplained wealth. He adds selective justice and the use of falsified documents would form part of the impeachment case against Morales. Duterte makes a statement a few hours after Solicitor General Jose Calida said overall Deputy Ombudsman Arthur Carandang is criminally liable for violating the Anti-Money Laundering Act. Calida also said Morales was equally liable for her deputy's actions. Communications Assistant Secretary Mocha Uson says she is not required to be fair in her social media posts even after she entered government service because she is a blogger. Uson makes a statement during a heated exchange with Minority Senator Bam Aquino at the Senate hearing on fake news Wednesday. Uson laments how GMA News supposedly aired fake news against her. She also says GMA did not get her side. Aquino then criticizes Uzan for wanting news organizations to treat her fairly when she herself did not practice the same virtue. May isang beses ka bang humingi ng side namin? Senator, with all due respect, hindi yes po ako no. journalist. Yes or no, may isang beses ba na humingi ka ng side namin? Blogger po ako, hindi po ako journalist. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Aquino repeats his question, but Uzan refuses to answer. Uh, I refuse to answer that Because? Question. On the grounds of? Uh, I have the right to refuse. No question. You don't have the right to refuse. You have the right to self to self-incrimination. So if it's a right, right, you have the right to refuse. Ka, I, have I have the right. Ano, I have the right to ano, against self self-incrimination. Usan says it's a blogger's right to choose if she would seek the other party's comment or not. Senator Risa Hontivero cites an earlier statement of Communications Secretary Martin Andenar last August that contradicted Usan's stand. Pontiveros recalls Andanar earlier said bloggers have to follow journalists' code of ethics. But Usan insists her account is her private blog and not under the government. Senators refuse to buy this, saying she is a government official paid by taxpayers' money. Senator Nancy Binay says Usan could no longer separate being a blogger to being an assistant secretary. It's high time for you to decide kung gusto mo maging blogger o kung gusto mo maging the military rescues at least 17 hostages in Marawi City Wednesday. Troops are pushing to corner local terror groups towards Lake Lanao on day 134 of the crisis in Marawi. Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana says nine men and seven women were rescued. The military earlier said there are about 40 hostages remaining in the battle area. All of them were previously hidden in one area, the men kept in Bato Mosque, a former enemy stronghold, and women in an adjacent building. The hostages are supposed to have been separated after the Maute group, along with the hostages, were forced to abandon the mosque when they were overwhelmed by the military. Environment Secretary Roy Simato on Wednesday says his department expects to finish the ongoing review on closed and suspended mining operations by the end of the year. His predecessor, Gina Lopez, ordered the closure or suspension of 28 mining operations. Occidental Mindoro Representative Josephine Ramirez Sato, during Simato's confirmation hearing, asks him about his policy directions regarding mining. Simato says any national policy comes from national interest. He also says he is following congressional laws and executive orders to come up with a national strategy on mining. Simato says, quote, We have already some initial plans on this while waiting for the issuance of the final decisions and what could happen to these mining companies that were recommended for closure or recommended for suspension. The Commission on Appointments also confirmed Simato's appointment as Environment Secretary Wednesday. United States President Donald Trump meets with storm survivors in Puerto Rico Tuesday and tells them to be proud the island did not lose more lives to Hurricane Maria. Trump asks residents about their homes, poses for photos, and stops at a church along the way to shoot rolls of paper towel basketball style into a crowd snapping pictures on their cell phones. The Trump administration's critics say the early response was not fast enough, or on a scale that could help the island's 3.4 million American citizens. Two weeks after, only 7% of the island has electricity, more than 9,000 people are living in shelters, and just 40% of telecommunications are back up. Thousands of homes, most of them made of wood, were destroyed. But many of Trump's comments appear to be aimed at quieting his own critics. Trump says, quote, 
if you look at a real catastrophe like Katrina and you look at the tremendous hundreds and hundreds of people that died and what happened here with a storm that was just totally overbearing. He adds, quote, I hate to tell you, Puerto Rico, but you threw our budget a little out of whack, but that's fine. Mm-hmm.